It's a fascinating look into the K-pop I don't know that twice. How it takes these... I'm not a K-pop man. I don't follow the no. K-pops or the idols, so I don't. I don't quite know. I don't know any of this. But oh, see, he's he's going to idols. This is exactly what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is kind of what you were saying, right? Your, your future sight strikes again. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this time, real future sight. If you actually watch the video. Um, but yeah. Yes. Afterwards, so, everything can change. I just kind of wanted to bring that up because, like I said, I don't know what it's like in Korea. I don't know if, like, if these girls lose, they just they, they just get executed, right? Because yeah. <laughs> that's what it. Because I feel like he's hyping this up a bit too much. He's like he's making it sound like, oh, the girls lost into the meat grinder, right? And just toss them feet first into a gr into the a. The only wood thing I would something. say in support of his this point is that you know if the idol, if the idol industry in Korea is so industrialized that there is a that you can actually throw people away in these. Yeah. Okay. Why does he like the show then? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if he's if he said that he. Oh, no, he said it, it but, right like... at the beginning of this section. He said he likes the oh, show or something. Well, but like, is this like one of those things where it's like critical consumption, right? Mm, don't where, think so. You know, where it's like, oh. I'm critically consuming the thing that I think is a giant detriment to society, right? Like, but it's okay, though, because I'm critical of it, right? Like, you know? Yeah. Sure, arguably the main reason this is so interesting is because it's a pivotal moment in the lives of 16 young girls, but let's not pretend the emotional abuse on play here didn't make this so much more raw than it otherwise would have so been. I mean, there's he likes it so much. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like self-reporting a little bit here, Bucko. <laughs> You're just like, like, man, all, uh, so all interesting. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, all this abuse. These girls are getting put through the ringer. They're being emotionally manipulated. They're being treated like absolute dog shit. But god damn, it was fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you saying, bro? Reality show 16 with JYP, the one that produced twice. Yes, that twice. It's a fascinating look into the K-pop I don't know that twice. How it takes these... I'm not a K-pop man. I don't follow the no. K-pops or the idols, so I don't I don't quite know. I don't know any of this. But... Oh, see, he's, he's going to idols. This is exactly what I was saying. Yeah, 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 it is. It is kind of what you were saying, right? Your, your future sight strikes again. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this time, real future sight, if you actually watch the video. Um, but... No, like, I, I don't see the connection between emotional transaction, if we're going to call it that, right? Because that's what it basically is, right? Emotional transaction. Yeah, for, I'm not in seeing sense, the link. Right. I'm not, yeah, I'm not seeing the link of emotional transaction within the context of the show between the characters as being relatable to idol selling you a product as in selling you these idols, right? These K-pop idols, right? I'm not, see I'm not seeing the connection between these two things, right? In, in the context of yeah. the, both the show and, and real life. All but right. anyway, let's let's, let's, Jake, let's hear about K-pop. Well, one second, Jake. Yeah, I, I think he knows more about K-pop than J-pop. And in a sense, I'm not mm. too bothered by the the, the difference. No. Uh, I mean, the difference is pretty, pretty... Minute. Like, there is obviously a difference, but I'm pretty sure it's probably... Yeah, um, he could I think the him. Japanese... The, the Jap like I think both the Japanese and the Koreans have kind of industrialized the idol. Yeah, and if he would go sense. bring up some American idol, young, uh, you know, idol, young actually, idol in America, um, and then it's. it's, I actually, it's oh, who was it? Someone I think it was um the guy that does those really long videos about theme park rides. He did one about the American Idol experience. Mm -hmm. Can't remember his name. I think it's like Defunct Land. It's a really long, it's like an hour long video, but it's actually really interesting because he talks about the history of American Idol. You know that show, right? The yeah. Show with the Idols, Idols were right? originated in the Netherlands. The, the, yeah. the idea oh, came from there. Go. Yeah, like Defunct Land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Defunct Land. Yeah, he had a video about American Idol. It was very interesting to like, to kind of, because to, because obviously those kind of performance idol type shows sort of exactly like what, he's showing on screen right now where you have you know the contestants competing to mm -hmm. you know become you know get a record label or to you know you know the opportunity to have a chance to become big big singer or whatever right um uh, yeah it was, it was, it, it's interesting how like that similar concept is 
you know, kind of the same across cultures, right? In a sense, it's not. I, I don't think it's necessarily as different as people make it out to be, right? Although, uh, of think, course, uh, it is industrialized over in, in mm, Asia in a, in a bunch of Asian countries, probably to a more of an extent. But I'm just saying, I think it's like you can't. America is not free from sin. Is basically <laughs> what I'm saying. What I'm saying. But anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. Young girls' hopes and dreams and chews them up and spits them out for profit and. What's what the sensor shows thing us on the is bottom, the though. reason K-pop is so successful know. is because despite being so manufactured, what we Lyrics? get is the most endearing. I, I, I don't know, maybe. But yeah, I'm just. Let, let's let, let him let him let him cook. Let him cook. And authentic performers out there because they're simply passionate young girls chasing their dreams, fueling an industry that exists by devouring the hopes and dreams of youth. And, just like Madoka Magica, what makes 16 so good is that there's just something so emotionally oui. compelling about manipulating it. So, he likes the show. Fun fa well, I mean, he likes it, but he's probably going to talk about it. Harry hates it. But, fun fact, a lot of these shows are fake. Well, I'd say fake, but not like... Okay, so to use the American Idol example, right? Because that was the, the video I watched, right? The way they did that was, so obviously you had like the big auditions, right? Mm -hmm. And on the show, it's presented as like you have hundreds of thousands of people showing up to these auditions and they go through the judges and, you know, they pick out the ones that are, you know, kind of funny or kind of kind of bad, right? Yeah. But the way it actually works is you would have, you would have obviously the, the ones that were... Um, the actual presenters, right? Like, the actual presenters, judges, right? But then there would be other, like, judges in these little kind of office rooms, right? Yeah, yeah. And they would filter people into those guys, and those guys would look at the person, or they'd have a demo of the person sing, or whatever, or maybe they have a goofy outfit or whatever, and they'll go... Yeah, you seem like you'd be fun to have on TV. You get to go... Like, and then you go to the next level, right? Yeah. Or you get rejected, right? So they're so they're already filtering out, right, and trying to construct the narrative of okay, we want like okay, here are some people that are actually talented, right, and have have some actual like promise, and here are some um, people or, that the audience will like, but they will lose and it will yeah, become yeah, a... yeah, yeah. Here's here, yeah, here's some people that the audience can relate to. Here's some people that you know. Yeah, you know, you know, or maybe uh, here's some like meme people, right? Some people that are just like you know they're so bad that they're funny, right? And they can mm. put them up to you know you know entertain, right? So so what I'm getting at here is you know this 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 he, he's not making a very salient point here because it's it's yeah obviously this is manufactured, right? Obviously they had auditions with these girls. They picked out the ones they thought that they were cutest, the ones that could sing, the ones that couldn't sing. They mixed a few of them in together. And then oh, over the course of the show, right? I don't know if they do viewer voting or not, right? But like over the course of the show, they'll start eliminating people. They'll create narratives. Maybe you'll have two two of the girls fight each other or whatever or there'll be beef and so rivals so, right uh, yeah and, i, I yeah. have two shows i like uh i, I watch the bbc so now and, now and again there are two shows that i like to watch dragon's den do you know dragon's den yes yes i do know dragon's den yeah it's kind of cool uh have it you is. watched the bbc dragon's den i've seen a bit of it yeah i've seen a bit you know of it. that they're going they go into the elevator yes the big elevator yeah that's not an elevator. That's just a straight hallway. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that's what I mean, right? They're creating a they're creating a, a narrative, right? They're creating a feel. Yeah, and there was oh, so right. to finish just finish the point. Uh, there was one season of Great Great, Great British Bake Off where this was just one bald dude who was just. Oh yeah, I think you mentioned this like years ago. <laughs> I might you have. were watching the great yeah you were watching the you, you talked about you were watching the great british bake off or something and how it was like actually fucking entertaining and epic because of this bald guy um this, <laughs> you know, i'll let you finish I'll let yeah, you yeah finish. so I, I, i'm just saying i vaguely remember something all right so this, there, there was an epic competition uh at least it was an exciting competition and bridge big great, great british bake off is more you know 
<laughs> uh, uh, they're not mean to each other like Hell's Kitchen or so. I saw some no, terrible American no. show where they had to sabotage each other. Uh, but the thing was that this bald guy was just very good. Mm. And he wasn't very social. So, so he was autistic, basically. <laughs> so he was just going through every... He was just, you know, went through every week. But there was no story about him. The camera, you know, he, he, did, he didn't show up on the TV in the actual show just, all that much. He's, he's just there being he a was, he, was he was just there. And I kind of suspect, right, eventually he was voted off. You know, judged off. Right, right, right. And I think the judges kind of just took the first chance he, they could when he made a mistake. All right, one mistake, get, he's to, out. To get rid of him. Right. Get rid of him. He's boring to watch. Because the other mm. people were funny or, you know, weird or had some yeah, yeah. fun tale. And this bald guy had no story, no no interests. He just came, mm. came on, baked uh, good enough to get through the week and then went home. Right. Anyway, that's right, that's, right. that's 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 my my uh, story about watching <laughs> semi-manufactured TV yeah. shows. Yeah, we, we, we've gone we've gone off the rails, but basically my point is, you know, he's not. The, this isn't like. I don't think this is a deep take, right? I don't think it's a deep take to be like, oh, these 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 reality TV shows are fake slash. I don't think he actually said they were fake. He said just well, he well, no, no, he what? No, but I think that's like that's the vibe I'm getting because he's talking about how it's manufactured, right? He's talking about how I it's kind of think they're, he they're means more of kind of like the idle talents themselves, but that's a maybe, separate point. Maybe, but I, I don't know. Maybe again, it's been a. I've actually completely forgotten why we're doing this. Good sign that we should keep going. And abusing a bunch of foreign year olds you think i'm joking let's take a look so 16 is this talent show made to decide the seven members of jyp's newest girl group twice think of it like okay. american idol only several times more invasive and also 100 percent made up of people with the strange expectation that the literal years of their lives spent training under this company to become idols wouldn't mean they would become idols instead they're randomly told that they need to compete in some competition where if you lose you'll be immediately cast aside never have dreams again and probably die alone oh so I don't know how it's like in Korea, right? Because I don't, I don't, I don't follow the Korean reality TV television. But I know if American Idol, funnily enough, oftentimes it was the losers <laughs> that actually won in the end and got you know bigger careers than the winners sometimes, and we're more yeah because the winners than... are forced into very binding and constrictive contracts. While the losers... Well, not even, not even, not even just that, but like people, because it's like you said with like it's like with your bald dude, right? On, mm -hmm. on America, but because you remember him, right? You remember Kinda, him. He yeah. was entertaining. You like you liked him, right? Well, he was an anomaly like, in that well, sense. Well, yeah, he was an anomaly, so you found him interesting, right? Same thing kind of happens with stuff like American Idol, where you'll have like a guy that you'll like, right? And then once they get kicked off the show, right? Like typically, like if they're in like the top ten, right, or something, that's usually the zone where you can sort of bounce back, right? Usually they'll go off and then, hey, maybe they'll do their own thing or they'll get, you know, they'll get a deal with something else. Or they'll sign, like, like, it's not like the record companies are just going to, like, toss a guy to the side because they came second, right? Oh, <laughs> you know? no. Even like, stuff on, like, in Dragon's Den and Eretsu, stuff yeah. they, they re you know, reject outright in the, you know, on the show, sometimes they'll just sign contracts later. Yeah, or sometimes they'll be yeah, or the, or big money. Yeah. You know, everybody wanted the company on the board uh, on the show, but once they actually well, saw other... the numbers, they all pulled out right away. So mm. he, he, Dragons Den also is kind of a lie because yeah. afterwards so, everything can change. I just kind of wanted to bring that up because, like I said, I don't know what it's like in Korea. I don't know if like if these girls lose, they just they they just get executed, right? Because yeah. <laughs> that's what it. Because I feel like he's hyping this up a bit too much. He's like he's making it sound like oh the girls lost into the meat grinder, right? And just toss them feet first into a gr into the a. The only wood thing I would something. say in support of his this point is that you know if the idol, if the idol industry in Korea is so industrialized that there is a that you can actually throw people away in these yeah, yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, also, so, you know, that's I, what I mean. To the point of remembering the losers, 
uh, something like X Factor, maybe American mm. thing. Uh, uh, there's the you know a show where you have, can can have different talents, uh, and you know judges uh, say now nah, you're out or now nah, you can uh, you're pretty good. Apparently, and every talent is all right, but it's always a singer that wins. But I only mm. see I only see clips of people doing fun stuff like the dance group with yeah. the LEDs on the on the on the mm. clothes. So they mm. do some you know in the dark core core craft dancing with uh, you know symbols and lines on their on their and codes all that, kind that of make fun fun stuff. Yeah, or as kind of a quick quick artist a quick painter that can paint the face of a judge in those thirty seconds that she has. Uh, she lost uh, right away in front of the judges, <laughs> but you? I remember her. I remember that dance yeah, you, group. Yeah, you remember. It, yeah, uh, missed the opportunity to name that. Case. I, I naughty or twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's keep going. And not just your performance, but also your entire life will be broadcast on public television this entire time. Uh, good luck. Stress doesn't even come close to describing this nightmare of a show. Did I mention they're all like fourteen? Let me give you just a few examples of the things that happened on it. I mean, besides the part where they isolate the losers and deliberately treat them like shit, there's the bit where the youngest member is a 13 year old who came from Thailand by her fucking self to become an idol, only to have to compete on this sick fucking show before inevitably losing and signing on to some C tier agency where she's almost certainly making literal, not figurative, literal slave wages. There's the episode where they made them vote on which of their peers they think are good people. Again, they're 14 and this was being aired to millions of people. Oh. Okay. Why does he like the you show don't... then? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if he, if he said that he no, liked he said it, it right like... at the beginning of this section. He said he likes the oh, show or something. Well, but like... Is this like one of those things where it's like critical consumption, right? Mm, don't where, think so. You know, where it's like, oh... I'm critically consuming the thing that I think is a giant detriment to society, right? Like, but it's okay though because I'm critical of it, right? Like, you know, yeah, no, I'm not watching, sure. I have a secret, I'm, right? I'm, I actually, you know, I, you know, I only watched like the first core of Slime. Yeah, I did go back and, and watch, or you know, speed watch the entire everything that slime has up to this point oh yeah you're getting you're getting ready for the next season are you getting... nah i'm not really i just wanted to have a slightly more you know broader understanding of how slime is doing and no i don't think that's that's rimuru deliberately killing off entire regiments uh of an army that didn't know what they were doing over there just to save a handful of his own people was justified Mm. Right, so yeah. <laughs> the enemy army Critical. the army of the enemy is there on all orders and doesn't know what's going on meanwhile yeah, some people kill, so, kill, kill them all yeah yeah, yeah some <laughs> some of your own your own uh, you know your dad dies he was killed <laughs> your dad dies yeah time to get that uh, enemy army with those in, kind of innocent soldiers in a sense right mass, it, mass, mass murder all, yeah. to, to resurrect your father that's all right so yeah, critical consumption, but it's okay because you critically consume. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm I'm gonna stop memeing about that, but like, but you get what I'm saying though, right? Like he's making this out like it's this horrible thing, and it's like I can agree, right? Like yeah, sure. Like on on like a general sense, it's like yeah, putting fourteen year olds or whatever mm. through this stuff is pretty 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 morally sketch, right? But at the same time. I'm not the one like supporting that industry. I'm not the one. I'm not the one watching the the, the K-pop American mm. Idol show or buying the buying the merch or buying the fucking giving them views, know, giving them views. Right? I'm not the one. I'm not the one out here making a YouTube video, basically like at, like talking about it and putting it into the eyes of more people. Right? Like I'm, you know. That's where I'm kind of having a bit of a hiccup here because he's making it out to be it's 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 you know right wingers do this too right where they'll be like 
Oh, I fucking hate the lewd stuff. Lewd stuff is so bad. Oh, I hate it. And then you look at their likes and it's just all fucking lolicon, <laughs> all right? fanboy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like it's all itchy. It's all lolicon or it's all like fanboys. Fucking fanboy shit, right? And I'm just sitting here like you can't have it. You can't have your cake and eat it too, right? If you think that this stuff is legitimately harmful to society, you don't get to fucking be like, oh no, but I'm a fan of it and I'm critically consuming it, so it's okay, it's it's fine. It's, it's no. Alright, let's just, let's see how it's, much more we know. We know that K-pop yeah. is bad. Let's see how. Yeah, long. well, yeah, K-pop, K- K-pop bad, and I will agree with the chat, right? That this man, like, he really should have made an Oshino Koi video because this would have made a lot more sense if he wasn't talking about fucking um, <laughs> nah, bro, it's for research. Um, like if he if he was talking about Oshinoko instead of Madoka Magica, I think he'd have like a much more solid point because he spent a lot of time talking about this K-pop stuff, right? So let's yeah, let's, kind of. Uh, uh, not... I will say, oh, yeah. I said, I'll, I'll, you, know. you, you get you get a point, and then we'll yeah, uh, yeah. He seems far more interested in the exploitation of youth than Madoka itself in this in this moment. Yeah, yeah. Like if this was a video about specifically how the idol industry exploits you know kids i guess right mm. yeah all right that's a good video to make you know <laughs> we don't no one wants kids getting exploited you know like that's that might be something to talk about you know maybe but you know yeah anyway not forget the part where when one of the girls ran to the bathroom to cry after a particularly bad performance and they followed her to the bathroom because of course they would but that's not the bad part no the bad part is when one of the other members asked them to not film in the bathroom not only did they keep filming they literally put her asking them to stop filming in the fucking show because when you've gone this far just stick the last few inches in i guess <laughs> Yeah, K-pop bad. Yeah. <laughs> we can all agree K-pop bad, right? But another thing I will say, like, okay, this part, right? I don't think this is fake, but I could very much believe, like, fit the filming in the restroom thing. Like, come on, like as much as I can believe that that's real, I can also believe that that's staged, like, again, like, drama. I don't right? think they actually need much staging. I think you can... You probably uh... don't, no, that's the thing. Like, it's really, like, in question when you're... Because these are, like, okay, yes, they're kids, right, supposedly, right? Mm. But they are still somewhat professionally trained actors in a sense right because they're performers right so just you know similar to Oshino Koi in the sense that you know they are actors uh, right you know uh, in a I... sense I I wouldn't believe I wouldn't it w- I wouldn't put it past them to kind of be like let's create this scenario where she runs into the toilet and she starts crying and then we have the other girl saying not to film but you film anyway because like you know like I, I can one hundred percent believe that that could be staged, right? I'm not saying that it, you know, I can't prove that, obviously, right? But I wouldn't put it past, right? The 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 TV show things to to to, to do that. That's all I'm yeah. saying. But anyway, let's we can we get back to Madoka Magic now? We've yeah. I think I, I think I get it. I think I get it. Right? I get it. K-pop bad. Okay. <laughs> Look, sure, arguably the main reason this is so interesting is because it's a pivotal moment in the lives of 16 young girls, but let's not pretend the emotional abuse on play here didn't make this so much more raw than it otherwise would have so been. I mean, there's a he re- likes it so much. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, it's like, self-reporting a little bit here, Bucko. <laughs> You're just like, like, man, all, uh, so all interesting. Abuse. Yes, yeah, yeah, all this abuse. These girls are getting put through the ringer. They're being emotionally manipulated. They're being treated like absolute dog shit. But god damn, it was fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you saying, bro? Yeah, Samu's on point. It's like, nah, bro, the CP has such good character development. Man, the Dutch angle, bro. <laughs> 
Like, like, fuck, man. I, I, I can't get these people. You know. <laughs> oh God. All right. Now he's gonna talk about males. I guess. Like, now, I guess is, is this Don't gonna be so. like the disclaimer it's, it's, of oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we'll find out. We'll find. We'll find out. Let's see. Is it every reality show JYP and every other idol company has put on after this has been so safe and uninspired and boring? He's like a he's like a what? fucking expert on this shit. He's like, he's like every single one after this has been playing it safe since. It's like all right. So, uh, I have to assume, right, right, assumptions all around that oh damn that show is kind of bad. Let's not right. let's not manipulate. Let's not do such emotional stress on those young kids. Maybe they got a lot of feedback from 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 the viewership saying, "Hey, that was a bit too far." And now he's going yeah. to say, "Oh, those other shows that don't manipulate the 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 kids as much. They're kind of they're kind of shit. They're boring." <laughs> they're <kind of> <laughs> All right, let's let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. Because oh yeah, you just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, we gotta go back, we gotta get a live action replay, right, right? Naritsu live action replay on this Pretend one. Pretend the emotional abuse on play here didn't make this so much more raw than it otherwise would have been. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason every reality show JYP and every other idol company has put on after this has been so safe and uninspired and boring. Because... <laughs> <laughs> he wants the abuse. <laughs> he, he yearns for the abuse. He he you look, Ellie, Ellie. The 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 the, the, the K-pop fans. Yearn. Yeah, they, no, no. Listen, the plebs yearn for the gladiatorial arena. <laughs> <laughs> they yearn. They yearn for the bread and circus. We must go back to feeding people to lions for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> they yearn for it. <laughs> K-pop fans aren't human. Yeah, Damn. fuck me, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh no, Sam Wee was J. And you Jay. said, and you said, you said this video was gonna be boring. What the uh, fuck are you? I wasn't. I didn't go watch this b boring ass K-pop art. But no, oh, Sam Wee, Sam Wee was Jake. Jake said, "Let him cook." This is fucking great. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Let's go. <laughs> this. this isn't entirely unlike the world of Madoka Magica. And the all right, all right, here uh, we go. Let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. How is how is um J J K pop emotional manipulation and abuse the same as Madoka Magica? Let's go. The more we.